Penny here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today for this video, I'll be recreating a look from Etude House. And if you actually go inside Etude House, you may come across this look. Wait, I'm gonna find for you guys. Uh-huh. And this is the look that I'll be doing today. The name of this look is called Beige and Brown. As you can see in this picture, her brows are a bit light brown and her eyes and lip color actually matches. And also not forgetting to mention that she's also wearing the Better Lips Talk which is recently launched by Etude House. And the color she's wearing is the Dancing China. She's the new face of Etude House and she's so pretty. And today I'll be using Etude House products to recreate this beige and brown makeup look. Oh my god, I can't wait to do this look right now. So let's get started. So before my makeup, I'm going to apply the Glow On Hydro Base under the Blossom Picnic Collection. I'm going to apply all over my face and also including my neck as well. Then I'm going to apply the mint shade from Fix and Fix Tone Up Primer at the parts of my face where I have redness and acne. This product is really helpful as not only it provides skin protection, the green color from the Fix and Fix Primer also helps to correct the skin tone by reducing and neutralizing the redness on the skin. So next, for the foundation part, I'm going to apply the Double Lasting Foundation under the Neutral Beige shade. And also with the help of the Double Lasting Glow Master Brush, I'm going to apply all over my face and also on my neck as well. And also I'm going to blend all the foundation using a Beauty Blender. After applying the foundation, I'm going to use the Big Cover Concealer Skin Fit Pro under the Neutral Beige to cover up underneath my eyes, the acne scars, and also the blemishes. Using the Drawing Eyebrow Proof Gel Liner, I will use the mini cute brush to brush up my brows before I start to draw my brows. To achieve a softer colored brows, I will draw and brush it at the same time to spread out the colors throughout the brows. For the contouring part, I will use Play 101 Stick Shade number 2 which is intense to give more shape to my jawline under the cheekbones and hairline. I will also use a blending brush to lightly contour beside my nose bridge. And then I will apply the highlight part from the Play 101 stick on top of my cheekbones, nose bridge and brow bone. Next, I'm going to use shade number 2 from Play Color Eyes Caffeine Holic Palette as a base on all over my crease and underneath my eyes. Then, I will deepen the same parts by lightly applying shade number 10 from the palette and blend it well throughout the eyes. Using Proof 10 Gel Pencil Liner, I will draw a thin liner on my eyes. After using an eyelash curler to curl out my lashes, I'm going to apply a brown color dual white eyes mascara on my eyelashes. I'm also using the help of the small mascara tip to spread out the upper lashes. For the blush part, I'm going to use the lovely cookie blusher of Sweet Coral Candy shade to apply lightly on top of my cheeks.
Lastly, for my lips, I will apply Lovable Beige, which is a velvet shade from Better Lips Talk to draw full lips. Ta-da! This is the look that I've done, the beige and brown makeup look. Like, does it look alike? My eyes look a bit more intense, but oh well. Oh, and the side note is that this model is actually wearing BE101, which is Dancing China. And the reason why I didn't wear this color is because Dancing China has a little bit of a pinkish tone. And since my natural lip color has a little bit of a pinkish color, so in order to decrease the lip color, I have to use a darker beige tone, which is the Lovable Beige. And I'm going to do a comparison for you here. And you can compare and see that the color is a little bit different because Dancing China has a little bit of a pinkish tone, while Lovable Beige is more to a darker brownish beige tone so i guess that's all for today i hope you guys like this video and do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos in the future and if you have anything to ask do leave your comments down below the video and i will respond to them as soon as possible so i think that's all and i will see you guys next time bye guys